my name's Linda, I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. I'm making um, another card today using my Dragonfly Garden um, bundle. So I'm going to be using the stamp set, I'm going to be using my punch as well. I'm also going to use um, textured essentials, I'm going to use this as a background stamp. I'm sorry if you can hear some banging, uh, my neighbours are having some work done on their house outside. Um, so I have a piece of A4 basic white, this is the thick cardstock, so it started off as A4, I've cut it at about um, just under 14.9 centimetres and we're going to score that at 10.5 centimetres. Also I have a piece of blushing bride and another piece of basic white, but this is um, the normal basic white and these are cut at 9.5 by 13.9 and the blushing bride is 10 by 14.4 and they're just going to layer on and then that's going to layer onto the card base so let's just do the scoring so long side at the top 10.5 centimeters and score and that is our card base i'm going to use balmy blue for my background stamp and then I have a piece of paper off the side. I'm going to stamp that down on my piece of paper off the side. So I'm stamping off and then onto my basic white. I'm going to do that again and just stamping again. And that gives us a nice subtle background. I've put my um, basic white in here, the piece that we've already done the background on. And I'm just, this is in my stamp apparatus. And I'm just going to stamp this pretty um, flower design. And I'm going to use. Um, black tuxedo black ink you don't need to use your um, stamp apparatus to do this you can just use a, a mount there you go and then on the other side of um, the platform I've put my sentiment I've gone for thank you for your kindness and again I'm using the black ink There we go, I'll take that out now. So off camera I have stamped one of the dragonfly images. I've gone for the top one and I've coloured it in and I've just used um, Flirty Flamingo and Pool Party. Just basic colouring and I'm going to punch this out. I use my um, blender pens to do this and we're going to put this at the top. I'm going to stick this to our blushing bride so you can see where I went wrong on the back there. Just turn your paper over and do it again. So just some wet glue, stick that to the blushing bride and pop in dimensional on the back of my dragonfly. I'm going to pop that on my card there and to finish the um, background I'm using some opal round embellishments I'm just using three of them and then all we need to do is stick this to the front of the card base and there we go I'm just going to stick this it is quite a subtle card there's not a lot of colours but um, I'm quite liking it you could even um, take some of the colours from the dragonfly and colour in your flower there if you wanted a bit more colour. And here is our finished card. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have a few um, dragonfly garden videos that I'm putting on at the moment so look out for some more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.